Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav and I welcome you. In this video, I am going to talk about what is the benefit of reading the actual text of the Buddhist uh, discourses or sutras as they are called. Right? So, uh, before proceeding, I have made some points on the benefits. But before proceeding, uh, if you are a complete beginner, then it is not advisable to start directly with the reading of the sutras. Uh, what it is better is that you can start getting a strong hold on the fundamentals of the Buddhism like the Four Noble Truths, Noble Eightfold Path, Three Marks of Existence, all these things. So, I have made a separate video on the beginner guide to Buddha teachings. You can watch this, that video and get a clarity and first get a, like there are a few books also I have suggested. You can go through them, get a, get a, a, a basic, a good understanding on the core teachings of the Buddha, right? Because Buddha's teachings are totally practical, right? So, we have to first get a grip on the core teachings, start implementing in our life and then you can move to the sutra reading, right? But now, for serious learners, like people who are seriously following Buddha's path in this lifetime, uh, in my view, read, directly reading from the sutras can be, can be very beneficial, right? So, this video, I will be talking about the why of the reading of Buddhist sutras because the why is very very important and the another video i will cover on how to read the buddhist sutras right i will just share my learnings whatever little i know right okay the first uh, reason the benefit is that buddhist sutras represent the original teachings of the buddha right so as a serious student if you are a serious student then there is nothing better than having a it's like a communication it's like they say, you know, that uh, reading good books is like communicating with the finest minds. So, reading Buddha's discourses is like communication with the Buddha directly, right? So, see, there is no assurance that whatever is contained in the sutras is what Buddha actually spoke at that time. But that doesn't make that much of a difference because more or less it will be exactly similar. More or less it will be similar with what the Buddha spoke, right? So, if we go back to the main texts on what the Buddha spoke, it is like we are listening from the Buddha directly. Now, in this lifetime, we are not, you know, uh, uh, physically present with the Buddha. But that's the, like a, for a serious seeker, that's the best way to come in touch directly with the teachings of the Buddha. Now, while you do that, what the benefit is that you will find the meaning of these, the sutras, the meaning of whatever the message that Buddha wanted to convey, or your own meaning you will find, right? Other option is definitely you can rely on some translations, uh, not translation, but the interpretations in various books and, you know, so that is also fine, right? But that is someone else's interpretation of the Buddhist text, right? So here we are going to directly see what is there, what Buddha said. And over time, the meaning will, will, will dawn on us, right? For us, which is the right meaning for us. Benefit number two, Buddha's discourses, if you see, they are comprehensive. Right? There are like thousands of discourses. So, it represents the entire teaching of the Buddha. Right? So, what we have been doing is that, uh, for example, people like me, like we have been following different paths and then at one point in our difficult life, uh, I have made a separate video on what brought me to Buddha's teachings. So, we came to Buddha's teachings. So, till now we have been searching for knowledge everywhere else, other books and all other things. But now, since this is an entire body of the teachings, you don't need to look elsewhere. This is like the body of teachings and we have to just follow that what Buddha said in letter and spirit and in our not only what we practice and what we preach but also in our practice. Right? So, this is like a complete set of teachings. See, and one more thing is that what I, uh, I, I have come to believe over the years in my I am 18 plus years in my spiritual journey uh, have been through a lot of masters, teachings, books but what I've realized is at one point you need to dedicate your life to one teacher and his teachings, right? Take one enlightened master, be, be it Buddha, be it Jesus, be it Krishna and take that master's teachings as your guide and just follow those teachings. So when you have the teachings laid out and one good, very good thing is over what I've realized as I'm on this path of studying the Buddhist teachings is that they've been very, very logically and very well arranged. There are so many bhikkhus and you know, uh, lay people, uh, volunteers who are working on this task of arranging and sequencing and everything and they are freely available, right? The teachings are freely, so you do not need to uh, also spend a lot of money. So, you just need to just take a printout and get a photocopy done and, and just start reading the sutras, right? So, it's become, 
technology has made it so much more accessible to access those teachings right so the first uh, so yeah so it contains the entire teaching so what it does is that it helps sharpen our focus and we don't keep looking for answers everywhere else benefit number 3 it waters the wholesome seeds in us reading the dharma there is nothing you know better than reading the dharma right so uh, instead of watching netflix and doing 10 other things and you know uh, uh, the newspapers how which continuously bombard us with the wrong informations and you know we take it through our sense doors and then they go and they water the seeds of anger desire revenge consumerism in us reading the dharma cools down our mind waters the wholesome seeds in us what i what i would believe is that that you know whatever we karma that we have accumulated reading the dharma practicing the dharma is like we are clearing our karma of many many past lifetimes which has which has brought us so much sorrow so right so it waters our wholesome it's a very good wholesome habit to do right uh benefit number 4 it reinforces our our teaching of the core concepts so there is the core concepts of the four noble truths noble eightfold path three marks of existence this is like this is like the core teaching right now we have understood the core teaching from the various initial books like fundamentals of buddhism or what the buddha taught uh, uh, by uh, valpola rahula right so these books capture the basic tenets now what the sutras do is that when you actually read the sutras you get a all rounded perspective of that particular teaching of that particular teaching of impermanence see what happened was buddha traveled 45 years in various various places right and and wherever he went he adjusted the 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 teaching to to that particular audience that skill buddha had right now what we can make use of this is that on the subject of impermanence i can read buddha's teaching actual teaching actual discourse in five different places which talks about the same so i get a well rounded perspective of what buddha was trying to say which is right for me at this level see we can only digest what is our consciousness right now we can always develop our mind through the regular meditation practice but we get a well rounded perspective uh, when we read the sutras on the core teachings see ultimately all the discourses that buddha has given comes back to the four noble truths and the noble eightfold path but to understand the core teachings well the sutras can help us we get a deeper insight benefit number 5 is that it can act as a refuge in difficult difficult times now when times are difficult when times are low see there is this triple gem that we always seek refuge buddha dharma sangha right so when we look when we when we practice the teachings what we can actually make it a habit is when our times are difficult and actually it happens it it is applicable for times when the times are good also but especially when the times are difficult we can come back to the reading of the discourses right you are having a bad day you have had a bad day you can come and instead of you know drowning yourself in uh, watching binge watching or uh, alcohol or cigarette or something like uh, instead of drowning yourself and covering up your suffering you can come back to the teachings and at least read two three pages of the of the teachings right so they they can act a, as a refuge it helps they can act as to help us to stay grounded in wisdom right stay grounded in wisdom right okay uh, benefit number 6 it's like a good habit right good habit as compared to the many uh, unwholesome habits that the society has uh, you know uh, made us to do for their own benefit like watching tv and all those things reading newspapers or other things so coming back to the knowledge being in that knowledge is a very very good habit for our mental well being right uh, seven number is benefit number seven it bolsters the faith in our practice so whatever practice that we are doing when we are doing our practice there are always times when our practice will go down there will be low phases where things are not happening so keeping in touch with the sutras reading of the sutras will help keep us motivated keep us motivated in the practice you read okay you are in a dull mind or you are not feeling uh, uh, to meditate today no problem today if you want to skip the meditation at least read the sutras right that you can do so if you if you read the sutras your mind will automatically become meditative contemplative right so ideally do meditation and sutra reading both but if particular day if meditation is not happening 
then you do sutra reading right so it helps strengthen our practice benefit number 8 is that uh, sutra reading can help you find a spiritual community like uh, for example where i live we, i don't have a community uh, uh, i don't have a kind of a spiritual community i don't live near a buddhist temple so uh, uh, and i don't know about you right if you are fortunate to live in a near a buddhist monastery then you are you are so much fortunate right uh, so what i would say, what i would say is that uh, if you don't have people practicing around you like for me it's sometimes difficult to maintain that motivation right reading sharing with this knowledge uh, but if you sutra reading what it can do is there are so, several reading groups right sutra reading groups where people come together and read the knowledge that are online groups so offline online you can find groups you can find a sangha so sangha is one of the three another triple gems right so buddha said that that buddha dharma and sangha so dharma is, is the sangha is another of the pillars right it can help you find companionship find find you help you find friends in the community who have the similar interests benefit number 9 is that if you are a serious student and if you want to go one step higher then if you read the buddhist sutras it will give you clarity and you can spread the sutras to others right so what basically what i am trying to do in a little way through my channel right is to read the sutras get the main points and share the sutras see friends one important thing is buddha has given profound knowledge but it got um, it got di dissolved evaporated right due to various reasons uh, across the world and especially in india from which i am uh, you know there are only a handful of handful of people who are practicing in india in the land where buddha got enlightened right so it can the uh, reading the sutras can increase our spiritual level and increase our capability to share the knowledge with others and there is no better uh, uh, gift that we can do uh, in in there is no better gift than uh, giving the gift of dhamma right so just think about this that you know in 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 maybe past lifetimes we have been spreading hatred or we have been spreading lies and we have accumulated so much negative karma in this life if we can spread a little bit of dharma to our immediate community our family friends our inner our community then then there is nothing like it so if you are motivated if you learn the if you uh, uh, study the the texts and want to spread the knowledge you can you can spread in the way that i am doing if you need any help in you know sharing the knowledge like you know technologically or anything you can always write to me i am available the numbers are given in the description right so these are some nine reasons that i could think of uh, as a benefit of reading buddhist sutras it's not for beginners it's for up, up, above a certain level that you have reached in your spiritual journey uh, that you can start reading and it can accrue a lot of benefits and over time it's like if you see the buddha's sutras are like the knowledge is very vast but if we are dedicated practitioners we can cover it like in a few years right if we are dedicated every day we do sutra reading right we can cover the entire buddha's knowledge in 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 um, in a few years and just think what difference could it make can it make to our our spiritual growth and helping us follow the buddha's path right so please do reflect on this do share your thoughts on this in the comment section uh, and uh, in the next video i'll be covering uh, how to read the the practical aspects of reading the uh, buddha buddha's uh, sutras right so thank you so much for watching this video namo buddhaya namo buddhaya